growing on Twitch is hard, uh, really hard. Uh, knowing what direction to um, to go in and, and what methods and strategies uh, to implement can also be really difficult. Um, and in this video, I'm just going to give you one idea, hopefully going to make you make better strategic decisions uh, based off kind of evidence of things that actually work for other people. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about looking at other streamers growth uh, or lack of growth in um, your game or category and utilizing that to decide whether or not it's worth doing something. So more specifically, I'm looking at really like viewership and potentially followers, but mainly viewership over perhaps like a three, six, nine, 12 month um, period. This is a really easy way of seeing whether a streamer is doing more of the right things than, than not doing them at all. If you kind of keep tabs on multiple different streamers in your category, um, and in six months time, there are ones, there'll be ones that have just completely disappeared that are not streaming anymore. There'll be ones that are on um, less viewership. There'll be ones that are on the same viewership. And there'll be a few that have just that have just soared. They are just doing better than everyone else. And those are the people that you need to go and analyze and look at and think, what are they doing? Or what have they done in the last six months that's made them grow compared to all of these other people? All of these streamers are good. You might watch their stream and really like their stream and think, this streamer is good. I like this stream. I like this streamer. I like this streamer. However, just because you like them doesn't mean that they're going to they're gonna grow over the long run. So you need to work out what this streamer that you've identified that has grown their viewership in the last six months compared to everyone. What are they doing? And this may be a form of stuff they do on stream um, to increase retention rate. It might be uh, stuff they do off stream. So they're, they're, they're TikTok, YouTube. So go look at that. Go look at that. Go watch their streams. Watch, and I'm not talking just one stream. Watch, try and watch all of their streams. For, for a good couple of weeks and really pick up on what are they doing on stream that's really driving engagement, entertainment, getting people coming back. Start making a list of all these things that they're doing. Um, and then also go and look at their offline content. Look at their TikTok, YouTube, like how are they doing their videos, etc. And I'm not saying just copy what they do like for like. I'm saying start to get a list of things that this person is doing really well and that you think is what's driving their their, their viewership up. Um, and once you've got then this list, you can start going down that list and go, okay, well, some of them might be relevant to you. Some of them you might be able to apply to your own style of streaming or content. Some of them you might not. Sometimes they might have, so for example, they might just be really, you might have identified they're growing because they are really, really fucking good at the game. You can't replicate that. Okay, cool. Have it. You, there might be something on their stream that they do where like they do some form of kind of like specific entertainment or the way that they structure their stream. You could, you know, have a copy that like for like, but you can say, okay, well, actually, I'm going to take that idea and I'm going to adapt it to my own style and make it work for me. Similar for the content off stream. You know, I'm saying copy their TikToks. I'm saying look at what TikToks they're doing and what is working. Is it their calls to actions? Is it because they're like really snappy videos? Like, is it their editing? Take that and apply it to your own. And so um, just to give one example of kind of, it's kind of relevant, kind of something that I did. Like I, I found that like when I receive raids, I'm really not very good at... Um, at welcoming raids. I'm not very enthusiastic. I'm, I'm just, it's just not the streamer that I am. I'm not someone that's going to fall off the seat when I get a big raid. I'm just not. And so I was like, well, I always struggled with how can I do better at, ra at, at, at raids and imp improve that kind of experience and entertainment value. And I actually watched someone um, who, um, it's X Two Shoes, who, who plays a flute uh, when he gets a raid. Um, and I thought, okay, I like that idea. How can I take that idea and turn it into kind of my own style because and I thought well could I do some sort of raid ritual that doesn't require me to be enthusiastic but still provides a level of entertainment and so what I did was I actually decided to get this like metal mug wait there tank card that my granddad gave me I'll fill it with water um put my um go xlr auto tune onto a really high pitched noise do this weird halo kind of melodic tune and just pour water all over my head 
and that'd be like my welcome raid ritual and so i've then like <laughs> instead of me going oh welcome to the stream like this really forced enthusiastic not me i'm gonna welcome to the stream right i'm gonna do the raid ritual and i can do this thing that doesn't require me to be enthusiastic or like be super hyped but it provides a level of entertainment and that for me made like a little part of my stream better based off me watching someone else that I felt uh, did really well. And I guess that doesn't really relate to growth, but kind of just giving just just an example where I took something from someone's stream, um, an idea, and I turned it into my own style. And it's not me just copying what they've done. Like you don't look at money, oh, he copied about them. It's completely different. But I took the inspiration uh, from X2Shoes. And so, yeah, just to wrap the video up, just just pay a little bit closer attention to other streamers' numbers. And almost if you're thinking about making a change to a game or thinking about trying something new or different if you find a streamer that's already done that like before you that they're three six months ahead of you look see has it worked for them they played the game that i played they've just changed to another game they've been doing it for two or three months actually their viewership is now increasing actually like or or, or potentially it's not so you can use other people other streamers kind of decisions and moves that you're considering doing you can analyze their numbers to see whether or not you think it's worth you doing that move as well um so yeah go study other streamers take inspiration from them watch their ideas see what works for them and what doesn't and then bring that back into your own stream and hopefully that should help you grow like it, it, it's not a it's not going to tick all the boxes it's not just a recipe for success but if you're continually doing this like week by week, month by month, like constantly watching other streamers and taking ideas and inspiration and, 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 and growth tactics, then I think you're going to increase the chance of you growing compared to someone that's not doing it. So yeah, I hope the video was good. Hoped it provided value. Um, actually filmed my first streaming podcast video series last night, uh, which I think I'm going to start releasing in the week beginning of the 25th. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. Uh, but other than that, have a nice day uh, and I'll see you in the next video.